Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have another completed festive glam look for you guys. It's very fall. Hair, nails, makeup, all that. Starting with the hair, I am using Carol's Daughter, this split end sealer, and I'm going to apply it to my ends. And then after it kind of soaked it up, I add some other leave-in creams and serums and stuff, and then I went ahead and bloated my hair straight. And yes, my hair is dark. It's a lot darker than what I was going for, but I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, and I cut bangs as well. So now with my comb, I'm going to go ahead and part it directly down the center of my head. And then after, I'm going to go ahead and tease it. Because whenever it's parted down the center, I love to tease it and make it big and voluminous. And my hair, it looks greasy, but it's not. I just put way too much serum in, but it'll go away in a little bit. Okay, so for this look, I'm going to keep my hair kind of straight, but I want to flip only my bangs back. And this is how I do it. I pull my hair up, I take my flat iron, and I kind of flat iron it upwards, and then I curl it down a little bit, and then I go ahead and I just let go. I don't drag it all the way down, like my entire, um, you know, the chunk of hair that frames my face, but I just, I kind of just curl my roots, basically. And that's going to kind of, um, I don't know how it does it, but it's just going to kind of push my hair forward. It's science. And then afterwards, I'm going to find a piece of hair that frames my face, probably like right where my eye is or a little bit below. That's where I like to flip my hair backwards with my flat iron. Um, I don't really like to go above it um, too much, but I will go like the same eye length or below. And flip it back with the flat iron. And the same thing with the other side. Okay, now I am going to just flip my bangs. I'm not going to really curl all the rest of my hair because I kind of want it to be big and messy and voluminous. And I don't want, you know... I don't want too much glam, but if you guys want a glam version, I will do that for you. Now for my nails, uh, these are Halloween. This is a Halloween look that I actually already created, and I wanted to do a tutorial because a lot of people liked it that saw me in person. So I said, hey, I'll do it. Start with white, black, orange, white, and then black. That is going to be the pattern that we paint our nails first, like, like you see me doing right now. And then afterwards, I'm going to take my art pen. And this thing is, okay, here's the story. I went to Hawaii. It was amazing. I found some nail products. I can't find them online, but good thing. I like totally stocked up on them. And I found this cool, okay, you know the pens that you steal from your teachers? Well, I found this art pen that's similar to that. So one side's kind of like a felt pen that squeezes out polish. And if you twist it open, it's a striper. So it's like a two-in-one thing. And it's like really awesome. So with my thumb that has scratches all over it from my cat, I am going to start with uh, these two tear-dropped shapes shapes <laughs> and those are actually evil eyes and then I'm gonna make two lines underneath uh, where the two eyes meet and then also a mouth and I'm gonna put little stitches in it and guess who it is it's my boyfriend Jack Skellington it's such an honor to have him on my thumb um, it, one of my favorite movies so I just I don't know I really wanted to do to do that and then um for my index finger, I actually wrote out boo with the same kind of pen but in white, but I lost the footage for it, so I apologize. Um, and then for my middle finger, on top of the orange, I'm going to go ahead and blotch on some yellow, or you can use gold. And then with a black striper pen, I gently just glided on some of the black upwards um, to make the shape of like a de-leafed tree. And um, I always do, th I did this design so much better off camera. I think it's hilarious that I didn't get it perfect, but you guys get the idea. For my pinky finger, I'm just going to do some orange glitter on top of the black. And then I'm also going to take the same orange glitter and I'm going to go over my little fall tree uh, once that dried. On my ring finger, I'm going to just take red and I'm going to actually drip it down like so. And I'm going to make bloody nails. I already have a tutorial, a full tutorial on how to get this look. So I'll link it down below if you want to watch the whole thing. And I added this one on because I just felt like it really complemented the the theme. It looked, it went good with the theme. So uh, I'll link that below. And this is what everything look. This is going to take a while to dry though, but this is how everything looks when it is completely dry. You get this awesome Halloween horror -y Jack Skellington mismatched nail look. I love mismatched nails. I think they're awesome. So now for my face, I'm going to prime it first and then afterwards I'm going to add my foundation. I had to buy some darker foundation because uh, after my vacation, my body's all dark and my face is not because I sunblocked it. So then I'm going to add my concealer and set it and blend it out with some translucent powder. And there's this glare that literally haunted me this whole filming session. And with a tote pencil, I'm going to go ahead and define my brows. 
Now I'm gonna prime my eyes and then I'm gonna keep my lids actually kind of neutral. So with this Mirabella palette, I'm gonna take this gold color and I'm gonna apply it to my crease. Then to give me bigger eyelids, I'm gonna add a white color on my lids from the same palette. Also, I'm gonna add it to the inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna dodge glares. I'm gonna blend it out. At this point, in while I was filming, the glare was pretty much sitting on my face for like 10 minutes. I had to wait for it to leave. But finally, it is gone. So it'll be gone for the rest of the video. Anyways, now, here my, my $10 falsies. I got a box of 50 for $10 online. Um, I'll link it down below, the one that I have. And basically, I like to cut mine. If you have a hard time applying falsies to your own eyes, I recommend cutting them because it's so much easier to just apply like a, like a little strip of lashes to like the outer corner than like this huge long strip of lashes. Now I'm letting my lash glue dry and then I'm going to add some black to my lower lash line. Now I'm not pulling my lower lash line down, I'm just pushing it out, making it easier for me to apply the black. And then with my angled brush and blue eyeshadow, it's like a bright blue, and applying it to my lower lash line underneath where the liner was. Now, do not run from the blue. If you have brown eyes, I think that blue really complements it. Um, even if you don't go crazy, like little pops of blue here and there, um, it looks really good. So just maybe give it a shot. And um, on the outer corner of my lower lash line, I'm applying dark blue. Squirrel watch. I'm being watched by a squirrel. I feel violated. He's gonna watch me do my eyeliner. I'm gonna do, well what I like to do a lot is I like to actually draw on my wing first, like perfectly. And then I like to kind of match up the rest of my liner with my, my wing, if that makes any sense. And that just kind of helps me, I guess, you know, get the perfect wing. Um, but when I mess up, what I do is I like to go and add black eyeshadow on top of it. Uh, like I'm doing right here because I just feel like it camouflages it. Now, that isn't why I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now because I really want like a smoky uh, look. So I'm adding with my angled brush some black shadow on the outer corners. And then this is how the finished eyeshadow should look. And then I'm going to add my mascara to kind of just finish everything up and then I'll be done. Now for my face. I'm adding some bronzer because I feel like bronzer complements blue so so wonderfully. And then I'm going to take this, it's all I ran out of highlighter, so I'm just going to take this shimmery eyeshadow that's like really, really pigmented, and I'm going to like lightly dust it above where I apply my bronzer. And then um, I recommend for this look, if you're going to have like, you know, bold, like, a bold color on your eye, I recommend doing like a nude or like a light pink or even like a light ombre. I'm going to add some pink lip gloss I have by Jane, clean it up, make sure I don't have any on my teeth, do a little sucky sucky. <laughs> And then after that, my face is done. Nails, done. Outfit, next. So I have two outfits, actually. They are both worked around this graphic tee that has like a galaxy mouth. I thought it was really cool. And these high-waisted red denim jeans. I love red denim jeans. They are really tight, I know. But I love them. I can't take them off. Literally, I can't take them off. And then I have this faux leather moto jacket. It's cropped. And then I paired it up with these faux leather boots from Just Fab. They have stud detailing, they have buckle straps, so cute, flat. And I paired them up for the second outfit with this black A-line skirt for if you live in like a warmer climate, and this coral faux leather moto jacket. I love it so much. And I also have like more accessories on my hands and wrists than I do in my closet. And um, you can lose some of these accessories if you want to, but what I have on is this log metal ring. It's like leopard inside the gem and then like a zebra bangle. And then also from Just Fab, I have this um, cat-like jaguar ring. I think it's freaking awesome. It has these emerald colored eyes. And if you put it on your finger, it kind of looks like, you know, the cat's like swallowing your finger. It's really cool. And the one that comes paired with it is like this, you know, rhinestone-y, um, another you know big cat. I'm not sure what kind of cat it is. Maybe it's like a leopard because it has black stones. I love this kind of jewelry and that's pretty much it. Um, two outfits. I don't know wh which one do you guys like better. Comment down below. Um, my accessories, my nails, my makeup, my hair, everything. Very casual. So that's it. I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye.